Welcome to The Creek. My name is Brenda Blackman. I'm our Director of Pre-Professional Advisement and Retention. I'm going to serve as your academic advisor when you transition to Campbell. Our mission at Campbell is to train our students in a Christian environment to be future healthcare professionals. We are all about service and leadership, interprofessional education, and serving the underserved. We are student-centered education focused on patient-centered care. There's been a lot of changes in pharmacy over the years, from the humble beginnings of your community pharmacist to research and development and discovery, manufacturing, and the clinical trials associated with drug development. The first question I usually ask my students, what type of pharmacist do you want to be? The most common answer is, I want to be the pharmacist that works in the drugstore. That's community or retail pharmacy. That's just one of over 70 different career paths you can take with a doctor of pharmacy degree. At Campbell, during our pre-pharmacy time, we're going to talk about the many different career options that you can have with a doctor of pharmacy degree. Anywhere from hospital pharmacy, community pharmacy, ambulatory care, oncology, nuclear pharmacy, psychiatric pharmacy, pharmacokinetics, pharmacology, clinical research, pharmaceutical sciences, those are just to name a few. Pharmaceutical sciences, in a nutshell, is drug discovery, development, manufacturing, that CSI toxicology type of work. Different career opportunities you can have with a pharmaceutical sciences degree are an industrial lab specialist, a forensic toxicologist, a forensic scientist, quality control, Clinical research is the testing of the medicines and the medical devices for safety and efficacy approval through the FDA. The different types of career opportunities you can have with clinical research, including a, being a clinical research specialist, a study coordinator, administrative support. Both of our BS degrees at Campbell University include an internship during the senior year. Your internship is coordinated by the program directors. Not only do our students graduate with an undergraduate degree, they have work experience to complement that as well. How do you get started? Building your foundation. It starts with the general science pre-pharmacy. The pre-pharmacy portion of the general science degree is the first two years of undergraduate study towards a degree in pharmaceutical sciences or clinical research. It also serves as the prerequisites for our doctor of pharmacy program. During the pre-pharmacy time, we're going to explore as many different career fields in pharmacy. We're going to participate in workshops and activities that enhance your interpersonal skills. And we're going to encourage you to be involved in curricular and co-curricular activities that enhance your college experience. The pre-pharmacy outline is simple. It's general college curriculum on a science track. It's cornerstone by chemistry courses. General Chemistry 1 and 2, Organic Chemistry 1 and 2. We have our biology courses, our basic biology, anatomy and physiology, microbiology, physics is a requirement. The math requirements are statistics and calculus. And then we include the general college curriculum classes, the GCC for the university. That would be your Englishes, your humanities, your social sciences. And that rounds out the pre-pharmacy outline. A common question incoming students ask me, what if I have transfer credits through AP, IB, dual enrollment, early college? All that does is open up a hole in your schedule for transfer equivalent classes. And we'll rearrange your course outline to accommodate the classes that you've already taken. The fastest you can become a pharmacist is six years two years of prerequisite coursework and four years of pharmacy school, pass the licensure exam and voila, you are a pharmacist. But remember that question, what type of pharmacist do you want to be? If you don't know, that's very common. Do you want to be a pharmacist or do you want to be the pharmacist? And those are different things that we explore here at Campbell during the pre-pharmacy time. Again, the fastest you can complete um, your educational requirements and sit for the licensure exam is six years. 
but that might not satisfy your educational goals or needs to become the type of pharmacist you would like to be. We have other options. We have a seven-year pathway where you're gonna complete the first two years, the pre-pharmacy. You'll complete the junior year of either pharmaceutical sciences or clinical research and apply to pharmacy school during your junior year. And if you're accepted, your first year of pharmacy school will count as your senior year. We will award a Bachelor's of General Science with a concentration in pharmaceutical sciences or clinical research. And then you go on and finish your remaining three years of pharmacy school and graduate with your Doctor of Pharmacy degree. The other option is the eight-year pathway. Complete your undergraduate degree in pharmaceutical sciences or clinical research and your four years of pharmacy school. So we understand you don't want to go to school forever. So there are ways to blend the undergraduate and graduate and professional programs. We are a private faith-based institution. At Campbell, we pride ourselves in concierge level service of taking care of our students. Within the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, we have our Camel Pack Advising, the, the Camel Pre-Professional Advising Center. Our faculty serve as mentors to our undergraduate students. They're going to help you learn about and explore different career opportunities within pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences and clinical research. They're going to ta start talking to you about residencies and how to be competitive for, for residency options after pharmacy school. We also have a leadership certificate. Students can um, participate in that and complete the requirements for that. And our Pharmacy Scholar Program, our Guarantee Acceptance to Pharmacy School. Our graduate and professional students serve as peer mentors to our undergraduate students. And then we have a whole series of professionalism workshops. Our interview skills and mock interviews, speed networking, competitive applicant, communicating your passion, how to write an effective personal statement. Through our mentoring opportunities, our undergraduate students are, have the opportunity to participate in labs and activities and research opportunities where our faculty and our graduate professional students are involved and serve as mentors. These are just a few pictures of some of the activities we've enjoyed over the past few years. The university has a tremendous amount of student success resources for our students. We have our tutoring, supplemental instruction, our writing center, our peer review, academic co coaching, our disability services, and our career services office. We pride ourselves in what we affectionately call two hump camels. These are our undergraduate students who've gone on into our graduate and professional programs here at Campbell. Our pharmacy school for the last 13 years has an average of 40% Campbell undergraduate students. I thank you for your time and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us here in the pre-professional office. Our email is prefarm at campbell.edu. Thank you.